Hi you guys! So I'm making this video here to share a message with all of us. Um, this is about the full moon that's coming up here. It's kind of right on the line between the end of April and the beginning of May. And I'm actually, I'm not going to talk too much just myself. I'm going to connect with my higher self. So I'm going to close my eyes here and I'm going to have her share a message with us on how to navigate the full moon energy, the event energy, and we'll see what she has to say, okay? So right now I'm just relaxing my energy field. My higher self comes to me in a unique way. She looks like half the size of myself. She has really intense red hair. It's pulled back. She has really intense blue eyes and she's looking at me. Her face is youthful, but the longer I look at her face, I see it is getting older. It's incredible. What was a face that is flawless? is aging, going from what would be like 20 years old to what is like 50 years old before my eyes within a few seconds. And she seems to be getting older and older as I continue to look at her face. Her hair is still very rich in red color. It's her face that is aging. Behind her eyes there is a feeling of being very tired. It's not just about feeling older and not as spry as a spring chicken, but feeling tired, just like I've lived my life. She shows me she is aging to the point she is turning to dust, and she falls to a pile in front of me of dust. I look beyond this pile at what, what is in front of me, I'm not worried about this, I'm not worried about age, I'm not worried about feeling too tired. I step out over this pile and I walk forward. I feel strong. I feel strong and I feel like a conqueror. I feel like a hero. I feel like I can take on the challenge. I look at the horizon which is open plain and I see earth. I see earth all around me, and I feel like earth is part of my home, it's part of my role, it's part of my identity, it's part of who I am. I love this planet, I love being here very much. I love how magical it is. It is magical here. People long to get off of this planet, I long to feel enriched by it. I love self-expression. The music here is diverse. The self-expression here is diverse and I love it. I can't get enough of it. I want to see more diverse expressions, more diverse souls. I want to feel that freedom of speech, freedom of self-expression, freedom of your style. It's not just how I do it is the only right way of channeling or of healing or of seeing into your soul. There are 8 billion people on this planet and 8 billion souls will experience your soul in a unique way. We are all windows, we are all mirrors into each other. And we see ourselves better through the eyes of each other, through the interactions with each other. Frustrating interactions, happy interactions, That's why we came here, to find ourselves. Not to let somebody else find ourselves for us, to walk in somebody else's shoes, to daydream about what it might be like to be Jesus, to be Buddha, to sing from the heart, to share that poem you wrote that you don't share with anybody because you're too shy what people might think about you. 
that's not what human ascension is. We're living in a world where it's time to get connected, not time to wither into the ground to try and grow backward in fear. It's time to share and discover how truly wonderful and special you are and how wonderful this poem is, how wonderful your voice is, how beautiful your ideas are. You're a beautiful person. And this world is ready for you. I am ready for you. I don't experience the chaos of this world. There's a lot of people here that insist that there's evil everywhere and the darkness is taking over and that we ha can't fight against this evil. That the human race is transitioning into the annihilation of our world instead of the ascension of our world. People who truly believe in human ascension also believe that we are all going to die. <laughs> so which one do you believe in? Do you believe we will ascend beyond fear? Or are you still working on ascending beyond fear? You believe in ascension, but you still live in fear. So you need to work on that. I don't experience that world. But I have conquered my fears. I'm still conquering my fears. I'm expanding and I'm learning about myself by choice. I'm learning about myself through trying to express myself in new ways that I feel vulnerable about, like light language. Starting to write again. I'm pretty hard on myself sometimes, but maybe that's what inspires me to work that much harder to be good enough for myself. And if I could be good enough for myself, then maybe I could be good enough for others. But I just keep trying. But are you trying? Or do you want somebody else to try for you? A big part of the energy right now is, is to express yourself. I also know the big part of the energy right now. It's inspiring movement. It's inspiring frictions in the life experience, having to make decisions having to solve problems, feeling like you're stuck in a stress sandwich. <laughs> but why would that be happening? Why do stress sandwiches happen? It's because you are ascending. So you gotta let go of that old junk and it's gonna feel stressful in the process, but if you just own it, if you ride this wave instead of let the wave just wash you under, if you get on that surfboard and you just let it take you where you need to go and you say stress sandwich, smash sandwich, <laughs> you say that, then now you start to own it. Now you start to become a conqueror. Now you start to become a hero. Now you start to see the world is your horizon. The whole world is. The whole earth is. My higher self is looking at me. She is silent. I tell her she can take a break. I'm gonna be my higher self now. She smiles at me. She likes it when I say that. She asks me if I think this full moon is asking us to be our higher selves now. And I tell her that I think every day the universe asks us if we could be our higher self yet today. And if we could live our lives as our higher selves, how would we live our lives differently than we are right now? Would your higher self say it is time to get out of that crummy relationship? Or would you say it is time to get out of this crummy relationship? Are you not strong enough to get out of this crummy relationship because you're not your higher self? Or is it time to admit now that you are your higher self and you have the power to say, see ya, sayonara sucker, I'm done here, and walk away. It's your choice. 
do you feel like you have a choice? Everything in your life has been your choice. I know that a lot of people would argue with me. I swear to God, it wasn't my choice. I swear to God that no matter what I've done, it always seems to be the same experience. I can't overwrite it. Just stop complaining. <laughs> Own up to your life and enjoy it. Now do things differently because something in the way you are doing things is attracting the same experience because you're not doing things differently. And you gotta do things differently. And I'm talking, just seriously, turn your world upside down. Sell everything and live in your car for an entire year. And now that's going to teach you how to live differently. <laughs> but everybody in this world who seems to have a brain would tell me I'm totally out there to say such a thing. Who in their right mind would do that? That's a really dumb idea, Abby. I need to work a job. If I'm going to live in my car, I got to at least still have money to get some fast food every now and then. It's amazing what happens when you let go of everything and you have nothing but time and freedom to do whatever you want, go wherever you want. You start exploring and discovering who you truly are. And you don't need to have a job to figure out all the problems in your life. You go with the flow and you let your higher self, you let your inner guidance, you let your heart tell you what to do next. And then you just do that thing. Next thing you know, you run into somebody talking about some big idea and you just go up to them and say, hey, I, I actually was thinking the same thing and here's my thoughts on it. I've just been living in my car, believe it or not. I just felt like I had to sell everything and I drove around and I drove about 500 miles and here I am at this restaurant and you're talking about the same thing that I've been thinking about. And maybe we could swap ideas or maybe there's something to this. And the next thing you know, you're discovering a friend and a motivation that you never thought was possible. But you'll never experience any of that randomness, which is what life is truly all about, if you don't get out of the structure. One thing that I've noticed about Ascension in this year that's been different than other years is the experience of time itself has been shifting and changing for me in a way that I, I naturally want to dedicate my time to planning, to manifesting an idea. I've got a great idea. I'm going to work at putting this idea out there. And I get all this motivation, all this inspiration, and the universe says, not yet. And then I say, well, that sucks because I am ready right now for this, right now. And the universe says, nope. And the universe makes me busy doing other things and other things. And now it's like, now four weeks have gone by and I'm saying, well, can I do this yet? I'm still excited about this. And they say, nope, it's actually not quite right. Not quite the right idea. So I want you to be focusing on this now. And I'm like, well, that has nothing to do with my original idea. You say, fuck your idea. <laughs> Abby, you need to stop coming up with ideas. You're not working with spirit. You're working with your human mind. You're working with something else when you come up with these ideas. You actually need to just allow the flow to take place and just allow yourself to transition from one thing into the next thing. The problem is a lot of the human race is working a job where you got to go there eight and get home at you know 4.30. You get 30 minute lunch, two 15 minute breaks maybe. That's not really living in alignment with the creative universe, is it? <laughs> That's living in alignment by somebody's idea, somebody's plan, somebody's um, um, goal, corporate goal, that you're mixed up in their corporate goal, which also gives you the benefits that you need to have your house and your lifestyle. But it's actually creating the biggest illusion of all time, which is why we're having a hard time ascending beyond linear time ascending beyond structure and illusion and fear and suckiness because we can't get out of living our life freely and doing something totally randomly different that is going to have a lot of question marks as to what's going to happen if I do that. I find also that not only do I have to stop coming up with ideas, <laughs> I just have to, to do something 
and then don't even that that's that's not even idea it's just me following what the guidance of spirit is so i do this and then i just allow that experience to to teach me something and and then that experience inspires me to do whatever the next thing is and i just allow the inspiration to happen and then that inspiration then i just roll with the punches I am so working on rolling with the punches. I'm still working on letting go of that linear time thing. I'm still working on letting go of it because a lot of the world has expectations. Well, I expect things to be done at this time. I expect things to, I expect if I, if I, you know, um, I expect A, then B happens, you know? And then when B doesn't happen, I'm wondering why B isn't happening. Um, I live in kind of a world where it's like, um, I don't know how to go back in time. I have to keep staying in the now and moving forward. And if I go back in time to try and do something I was working on in the past, it actually feels disgusting and awful for me. And that's very hard because I'm still in that human mindset where I need to be working with the past in order to get to the future. And that's actually not human ascension. Human ascension is the inspirations of today. And that's all we know. So what is the next inspiration of today? What is the next inspiration of today? And that's all we know. I'm closing my eyes and I'm connecting with the spirit realm because I know this conversation is complicated. But is it? Is that the human mind at work saying, well, that's complicated. I can't just do that. Is that the human mind at work? What's the heart say? How do we stop saying it's complicated? How do we stop saying that I can't do that? Because how do we stop that? That's the ego. That's the logic. That's the human mind deciding what is best for you, which is going to maintain an identical structure of not change, becoming a statue and living your life the same way for the rest of your life. And that's kind of been the norm for the human race. Like you look at a hundred years ago and the lifestyle really didn't change over like a couple hundred years. Like you have these different hundred year eras and it seems like people are changing every hundred years. Um, and before that it was like people were changing maybe every thousand years, something like that. Well now people are changing every 10 years. And now people are changing what is like every year and then every month and every freaking day. And we can't hardly keep up with all of these changes. And we're still trying to live a life where we are rocks and we're going to stay put. And this is all I'm going to do with my entire life is this one thing. And I'm going to have my rock bottom sitting right here. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to do anything different. That is not the rhythm and of the energy. That is not the event energy. <laughs> that is not ascension energy. Ascension energy is every single day exploring and experiencing yourself as a new and reborn version of infinite light and love and potential and diversity and creativity and a gift to give and a gift to share. They're not talking to me right now. So I'm just taking a pause to collect myself and my thoughts and my ideas because I've been experiencing a lot in my own world, but I know my lifestyle is not exactly like everybody else's. My lifestyle was like a lot of people's lifestyles. And I worked my ass off to change that lifestyle because I wanted it to be different than this. And I wanted to be myself in this world. And a lot of people don't have the ambition for some reason to be themselves. <laughs> So how do I inspire people to choose ambition, to choose to own it, to choose to do that thing already and stop putting it on hold? How many people do you know want to do something? You know, I've always wanted to live there. I always wanted to go to that place. I always want to learn how to play the violin. I always wanted to, you know, and now 15 goes, years go by and they still kind of always wanted to. That's not living in the spirit of living. <laughs> That's just dreaming about stuff. Dreaming about stuff is actually a manifesting tool, but you got to put your dreams into action too. And a lot of people like to dream about things and then just wait for something to happen or hope that change will come into their world. And they're just waiting and waiting and waiting until they get kind of sick of waiting and they make a change themselves, but they're still kind of waiting for that, that new thing, that whatever that is. 
and they're not choosing to really alter their own dynamic. They're not looking at themselves on the inside out. They're just still looking at their face in the mirror and just seeing time pass and shit, I'm getting older now. And it's still the same old routine. You gotta own it. You gotta... You gotta come to life inside yourself. It's really easy to do it. It actually is. A lot of people, again, would say it's not that easy, Abby. And I say, well, it is, actually. One example of how easy it is is... You could close your eyes and you can choose to have an experience. Your imagination is your experience, all right? Your imagination is your soul, but you don't have to imagine it. Your soul can manifest the image, whatever image that might be. You welcome the image, the first thing that comes to you. What is it? Next thing you know, you're, there's some memory that you forgot about and you're crying because it touched your heart so deeply and only lasts for maybe 15 seconds and then it's gone. And you're wondering, why am I crying right now? And why did that even happen? Am I a weird, a weirdo? Or do I need like a hug or something? Am I, what does that mean? We're starting to get to know you on the inside of you. You are starting to get to know you on the inside of you. It's important. But how many of you are going to watch this video and you're going to think about what I say, but you're not actually going to put it into action? You're not actually going to try this. You're not actually going to try, close your eyes, and open your heart, because the first thing that comes to you is not supposed to be a thought per se. It's supposed to be a feeling. It's supposed to be an image that you experience in your heart. Oh my gosh, there's my grandpa. And I'm fishing with him. Oh, I forgot about that. I haven't thought about my grandpa in years. Wow, I'm, I'm seeing horses on a farm right now. And there's a brown horse and I really like this horse a lot for some reason. I feel like this horse knows me. I feel like there's some of the, somehow this horse spirit is a part of my life. I've always loved horses. You're sitting in a cold space. You're looking at the snow and you're wondering why life could feel so cold. You take the snow into your hand and clump it into a snowball and you toss it. You stand up and you slam your foot down on the ice to try to break it. You're in a lot of pain right now and you don't really have any solutions. If you stand in this icy world long enough, you'll start to see it melt. And on the other side of it is a rainbow, an extraordinary spirit guide who is here to give you a hug and remind you that you're not alone and to welcome you to step into higher perspective and awareness instead of sinking into emotions that are self-punishing and hurtful. You're angry at the universe for your life experiences, but you haven't discovered yourself yet. And once you discover yourself, now you can get your life experiences in the palm of your hand. Now you can start to live an enriching life full of love. But that won't happen unless you choose to explore yourself it's a very strange message because my spirit guides aren't going to talk to me my higher self is not going to talk to me so I Abby have to decide if I've said enough I Abby have to decide if this message is a good message for the full moon if anybody would relate to this when I connect with my spirit guides and higher self, I can experience so much emotion. I can experience so much meaning through the emotion. I can relate to the images. And I feel that this message will resonate with people. This message 
because I don't have that aspect of connection with their energy, I experience it as me speaking to you, although me speaking to you is also them speaking to you through me, but it's a little bit unaware right now. And I have to trust in what is taking place. And what I'm inspired to talk about is exactly what people need to hear right now. You have to trust in that. Hmm. Everything is just relaxing and I don't feel like there's anything else I need to say. <laughs> That's it. That's my full moon message. This was supposed to be extraordinary. This was supposed to be mind blowing. But it feels like it's just a message about stuff that kind of sucks the difficult sides of life that nobody wants to deal with because we just want to be free already. But you have to find yourself before you can find what true freedom actually is. And the only way you're going to find yourself is by going inside yourself. Is by discovering your connection with angels and the spirit realm. A lot of people say, I don't know how to do that. Well, why aren't you exploring, um, practicing? There's so many videos out there on YouTube with specific advice on how to open your third eye, how to open your heart portal, how to connect with your spirit guides. There's so many videos out there. I have videos out there. I offer sessions on this. I am telling you what changes people's lives. And all you have to do is learn the technique on how to go within yourself. And then you expand from there. It's going to change your whole life. But you also have to not be afraid to make changes. You also have to not be afraid to own up to the changes that are going on in your life. When change happens, we get scared of it. We push change away. We say, I don't want that. The moment you can say thank you for the difficult times in your life is the moment you're finally on the right track. How many people don't say thank you for their life experiences, the hard ones that suck? Well, you're already telling us what we already know. Hard experiences suck. Well, what did you really learn from that? How to give up? How to give in? Or how to be a hero? How to take challenge and own it? How to stand on your own two feet? How to find yourself? How to find your passion and ambition because you want to live a life that's better than this? To do something you've never done before because you're going to just see what happens. Did you come here to live life like everybody else or did you come here to experience something you never thought possible? Finding yourself doing the most random stuff. Stuff you would never do before. And only then will you truly know who you are and what you're capable of. And only then will you truly have a story to tell. And only then will you truly live your life. So, that's it. That's all I'm going to stay for this message. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you don't mind this message. I hope it gives you something to actively put into practice. Some ideas to become more heroic, more awesome. Because I love diversity. I love self-expression. I love sharing. I love creativity. I love light language. I love psychic development. I love these things. That I like seeing these things in other people and the way they're sharing it. Because it connects me to the infinite universe and all the dynamic ways that we can experience it through each other. And be a part of that world, right? Don't sit on the sidelines. Join the dance. Get out there. Get involved. Have experiences you've never had before. Make it fun. All right. That's it. Swear to God. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one through a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all again and have a wonderful day.